Alrighty guys, uh, working on a manure spreader here. Last winter, for any of you sub me way back, um, I put that little cylinder, I used to have a rope that would run up and you'd pull this thing sideways and you had a little thing that would trip and go across here, pull it all the way over here, then it'd let it go back. But that never worked very well. Um, so I put the cylinder on here last year, a tiny little cylinder one-way deal because it's got a spring that pulls it back that way and I've got that orifice down and everything but it's just too I mean you touch that lever and it's just over real quick um, so I'm going to take it off and redo the bracket a little bit and I bought this little uh, linear actuator I'm going to put on here I think this will ease into it a lot better and do more what I'm looking for Part of the thing I didn't like with the rope, you could pull it and it'd go this way. But then if you're getting a big slug or something and you need to back it off a little, you know, you had to speed it up to slow it down. And this, at least, I could slow it down, but it, a lot of times it just went from here to there before you could even do anything. And so I'm hoping this, you know, if I can just get it to kind of ease across there. And I'll put a switch up here on the tractor, but that won't be the end of the world. I can mount it in one of these holes or something there, and it'll be all right. So I'll get to doing that. All right, I got the hole drilled. And got my uh, new one up there. These called broken pair of gloves. There we are electrical tape and all. that over a little bit to get it in line. Well, maybe not. Let's have to see. Alrighty guys, I'm going to try welding these glasses on. I don't know how that's going to work. Don't have the, or I forgot to bring the auto hood over from our steel fab shop this morning. Makes it a lot easier for welding, so it's got the old one, but that's alright. It's kind of cheating anyways, but whatever works. Got it tacked on there. I think it looks pretty good right there. I got it lined up this way. It's about in line with that piece. Standing up straight, so we're gonna give her a try anyways. Don't want it. Don't want it running away from me there. God, my hair stinks when it burns. Jeez. A little more up here. Anywhere. 
breaks that. I don't think that thing only pushes 200 pounds. I don't think it's going to break that. Is that what it's rated at? Oh, 225 pounds, there we go, max load, 12 millimeters a second, or for half a second, so about an inch a, it's going to take about 10 seconds to run the length of it, or 8 seconds, but, put a nut on the other side of that, and I think that'll be alright, and then just run the wire down across here and up, and I got to, Figure out how I might have to build a little deal to go up like that, but we'll see. I gotta run in town and get a uh, uh, three or a momentary switch. It can run either, and they can reverse polarity um, on that and get it all wired up and everything. So, I'll be back in a while. I already got the uh, wiring um, put up here. It's kind of got a zip tied on. Doesn't need to be pretty for the old manure spreader. Put some black paint on there and it's going to make the rest of the manure spreader look bad. But uh, got these trailer hitch connectors. I just cut two wires off of them. They'll run up to about here and then I got the the other end is going to go to there and out of that junk 9700 we got uh, I took the real speed uh, switch off of it because it's a runs a linear actuator and you can see it just going one way it runs it here and then you push it going the other way it uh, flips the current so I check that with the voltmeter but her own meter, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those two would probably be the hot in and out. Yeah, they would be. Two, that one, but anyway. Got that little clip, found that clip laying under the bench. I was pretty happy about that. Bolt it in there. I'm going to take that bolt out and just put it right there. And I can just run the wires back. I'm just going to hot wire it into the battery. It doesn't need to be keyed most of the time it's not even going to be hooked up to the spreader but hadn't been off of here in years because still got paint on it from when this tractor was painted 20 some years ago and more than that probably coming up on 30 years Perfect. Look like it is factory. Now, I don't really like the location of the batteries on this tractor. They're a pain in the butt to get in and out of here. The only thing I don't like about these double op or any of the four digit Olivers, at least on the 18 ones that I've seen, batteries are all right here. Maybe they're different on the smaller or bigger ones. 
have ever paid attention. All right, got it uh, just running under the floor plate there. Plays in there pretty nice and then runs up through this clip here and then uh, run right up the switch. Notice here I changed the wiring around on it. That dang, I wasn't thinking when I bought the wires, I didn't make or get them long enough uh, to go up and everything to stay out of the PTO shaft. So I just end up running two wires back and I'll just disconnect them at the switch there on the two spade connectors. Um, about the easiest thing to do, anyways, because there doesn't need to be there's less connections and in the manure and everything. That, it's less to corrode that way. But anyway, I think it and turn out all right. Uh, push that thing out like that. You can see there my lever's moving. Not terribly fast, but I'd rather have it slow than fast. That's about pretty good speed there. All the way out. And go back the other way and pull it back in. I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out, but and then whenever I want to hook the manure spreader, I just pull those two wires off there, so and that'll be nice because then the rest of that can just stay on the tractor throughout the rest of the year. So and they uh, can't remember if I said this yesterday or not, but I ordered that and it took forever to ship. I got that off of eBay. It took forever and ever to ship, and they weren't ever shipping it, so I emailed them and uh, wondering where it was at. And then they said, oh crap, we forgot about it or something like that. And they sent me two of them. So do a lot with this tractor. If I ever need to put another linear actuator on something else, then the tractor's already wired up for it. So yeah, but anyway, uh, well, I guess this would be part one. It, I won't get to it right away. But um, when I run that at slower speed, sometimes the chain will stop and there's a ratcheting system back there that moves the chain back and the gear it runs on is missing a couple teeth and so I'm going to have to weld those back up and uh, do a little work on that so that'll be part two of the manure spreader um, work. But anyway, thanks for watching.